Okay, so before we get started with this night flight, I want to show you the day footage I got earlier when the battery died after like 8 seconds because I didn't have a full charge. Just to give you an idea what it looks like with my GoPro Hero 4 on there. So you'll get to see kind of how the functionality of the gimbal works. Like I said, it was very unstable because it had 0% battery when it took off. But it still came out pretty good. I was actually impressed by that, like, I don't know, 7, 12 seconds of flight that we actually did get. But uh, the night footage is not that good, but it'll give you an idea of how much I was having some fun. So here's the day footage, and then we're going to switch to what I did today. I'm going to go ahead and start a recording. Let's get this thing in the air. Go ahead and back up, Jordan, because I have no idea what this is yeah, going to do. Cool. We're going to go ahead and slide the take off. toast. Alrighty guys, it's currently 2 a.m. There's absolutely no wind. I've got the ghost drone here with me. Ghost drone! And I don't want to wake up super early before work tomorrow to try to get a flight in. So it'd be kind of fun just to take it out tonight and uh, see if we can go down to the field while there's nobody there and uh, give it a quick buzz. Well, I'll take it right down to the down to the school and we'll put it up in the field and see uh, see what happens man figure this would be kind of fun to do so I'm gonna load it up now take it real easy getting down there and I will see you guys at the park it'll be its first calibration I have to calibrate my phone first and I have to calibrate the bird itself we didn't do that in the first place either I didn't think it was necessary but we're finding a lot of things are necessary with this drone so let's get her done Hey guys, got my car out here. It's pitch black. There's not much going on at the field. There's a couple kids over there. Look like they're gearing up to have a little Halloween fun. A little party. I've got the ghost drone out here. I need to calibrate it for the first time, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll get it up in the air and we'll see what this thing can do. Let's have some fun here. Alright, so as I suspected, I didn't have to do a rebinding procedure. Just connect the G-Box and uh, plug in the battery and it automatically connected so we're good to go only had to do the binding procedure once we're going to go to settings we are going to go to calibration and we are going to go all right please wave your device in a o shape like so i don't know how many times i have to do this we shall see We shall see. Is that good? Yes. Okay, please hold the aircraft horizontal. Rotate it until the green dots fill up the circle. Okay. We'll go ahead and set this down. Let's go ahead and just spin this until the green dots fill up. They're almost full. Keep going with it here. Keep going. Next. Okay. Tilt it what? Nose down. Tilt it nose down. And do this here, huh? I can tell you the gimbal really doesn't like this. Completed. Okay. Gimbal didn't like that. It was getting thrashed around pretty good. Probably want to do that compass calibration when the uh, gimbal's done. Completed and recommended to fly. All right. Cool. Let's uh, let's open up. We're gonna actually. Yeah, let's just do this. Let's have some fun here. Let's get this thing up in the air. 
we're gonna go to avatar should bring it up like this I'm gonna go ahead and straighten the camera out using the app settings here let's go ahead and bring the camera up there we go full pitch controls we'll get it straight excellent looks like it's straight let's go back just a little bit the opposite way oops too far too far right about there all right let's go ahead and turn the camera on here one tap should be ready to go here we'll tap it to start a recording excellent you are now recording let's get this thing in the air and see what happens here how many satellites do I have? 13, that should be good enough we'll go to take off, slide to take off should give us a countdown Now let's see if it just hangs out there. Is this going to hang out? Okay, so wherever I turn my phone it's going to fly. Interesting. Interesting, so if I walk this way is it going to follow? Oh that's crazy. Okay. All right. Very interesting here. Oh, this is kind of crazy. I'm just tilting my phone and it's going. Let me just turn this way, tilt my phone, let her keep going. Tilt my phone. It's a pretty slow flight though. If I turn all the way around, tilt my phone forward that way, it'll keep coming forward. If I tilt backwards, it's like G-Sensor. If I tilt backwards, it'll go backwards. Tilt forwards, it'll go forwards. Wow, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy how it's doing that. It's like G-Sensor controls. If I hold my hand forward, it'll go. If I tilt right, it'll roll right. I roll left, it'll roll left. Tilt forward, it goes forward. G sensor controls GPS. That is crazy. That's actually kind of cool, man. I'm digging that. All right, let's go ahead and push back. This drone is still in the air. Are you sure you want to return? No. Let's uh, see what happens if I go return home. Press the control, okay? So I can guide the control landing. Oh, that's crazy. That is crazy. How does it shut down? Oh wow. That's wild. Okay. Let's uh let's go back. Let's try waypoint settings. This thing is nuts. Okay. Do I have a map up? No. Why not? Let's go to settings, preferences. Let's go 2D map, save. We'll go back. Let's open up waypoints now. Let's see if we have a map now. There we go. Now we got a map. Now we got a map. Kind of crazy. So now, kind of curious to see how this works. Let's go to take off. Slide to take off. Let me step backwards.
Now it should just go up and hold its altitude. Nothing I do leaning the phone anymore should have any bearing on what it does. It's not, and it is holding its altitude very well. All right, let's see what happens if I just push forward. Is it going to go forward? Oh, yes. Oh, that's cool. So with this one, I have manual flight controls. Program exception. Uh-oh, we disconnected for some reason. Looks like it's coming back. Going to land itself here? Well, that's kind of crazy. Searching for G-Box. It's going back to its original takeoff point, and it's going to land. Oh, I wonder if my G-Box just uh, lost power. Let's get it connected again here if we can. Okay. All right, let's uh, open this up again here. Let's go to land. Interesting, well that was weird that the G-Box disconnected. But well, there's follow me, hover, return. Let's go ahead and stop this. I'm gonna hold, this time I'm gonna hold the G-Box in my arm here and try that again. We're going to take it up. Let's take it out a little ways here. I got to watch out for the basketball hoop because it is over there, or the uh, football hoop because it is over there. Alright, let's let it sit there for a sec. Let's bring up the altitude. Center up nice and high. She's up there a good way. We'll send her up even more. Now I should be able to turn the aircraft like this. Oh yeah. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Oh, this is cool. Let's uh, send her on a trip here. Go ahead and turn it around. Turn the blue lights towards me and we'll push forward. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> this is kind of weird. This is not the controls I'm used to, I can tell you that, but it's definitely doing very well. Let's take her up nice and high. Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to bring her down. I just looked at my battery. I'm at 33%. Playing around with it, man. I got the battery down. Pretty quick here. Matter of fact, let's just do a uh, return to home here and see what it does. Actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and push return and see what it does. Alright. Let's go ahead and bring her down here. Let's let it land by itself. I'm not going to control it. Let's see how it does. Land. We're going to push land here. 29% battery. Pretty good landing, man. Let's let it shut down by itself. Bam. Crazy. Crazy. Well, this thing's cool. 13 satellites. All the fun stuff here, man. I'm actually quite impressed by this. Quite impressed. The current battery is 29%. All right. Shut her down for the night here. It showed it even showed my path of travel on here. So I suppose I could have been tapping waypoints. Well, it didn't quite get the battery life everyone was saying, but like I said, this battery's probably pretty old. We'll give it another full charge, see how it does. 
see you guys later. Well, it was very foggy out there. I doubt the footage looks any decent, but it was definitely fun to play with the app a little bit. Uh, I learned quite a bit in a very short span of time. I'm going to go ahead and read through the manual a little bit more and uh, understand the functionality of it better. Avatar settings weren't, or like the avatar upgrade, the G-Sensor, whatever that's running off of, wasn't upgraded until a little while ago, so that's new to the 1.0. They have it on the 2.0 Ghost Drone too, so I definitely need to play with those functionality a little bit better. Um, the controls are very strange uh, for someone that's a fan of transmitters, but I also see the ease of it. For somebody who was just picking up a drone uh, for their first time to fly, this would be very simple for them to pick up. For me, it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve because I'm kind of having to dumb it down a bit from what I know, and uh, that's probably what's presenting me with the problem. But for the most part, it was a lot of fun. Uh, once I understood what was taking place, because I started an avatar, and I was like, why is it drifting all over the place? What is it doing? And then I realized if I tilted my phone, it was listening to the tilt on my phone, kind of like a G-sensor. It was still in GPS mode, but it was listening to my phone like a, a weird G-sensor thing. So, but once I figured out that that's what it was doing, it was kind of fun to play with. So I will say the battery life was not what was expected. We were told like 20 minutes of flight time. I'm going to have to look back on the flight video to see exactly how long we got. Um, and that could just be that battery. Like I said, as a dud or I might have damaged it by running it completely to zero. So that could have been my fault. But we'll find out. I think the guy sent me another battery anyway, so this will be fun to kind of test a couple batteries. But it's a cool experience, man. It was a lot of fun. It'll be more fun to take it out there during the day when I have a little bit of time. I have to be up early for work again tomorrow, so that was the best I could do. But I did want to play with it tonight. Um, I had my roommate plug it in, so I had a full charge. So for the time I did have out there, it was definitely fun. But uh, controls are something to be desired, and uh, we'll have to play with them a little bit more. A little bit more, but I think we have a secret under our belt that we'll be able to talk about here shortly if we can figure out exactly how it works. Could be a lot of fun for people that want to use a transmitter, let's say. But, to be decided, we'll find out, guys. Alright, toodaroo!